Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this video, we are going to discuss about the laptop configuration that required for the Oracle database training. And many students are dropping an email to me and asking for what is the configuration that needs so that do they can do the lot of practice on the Oracle DBA related to the rack or data guard or some other technology as well. So when you discuss about the laptop configuration for Oracle DBA practice, there are certain things that you need to put in your mind. The first thing is your memory. So try to get at least 16 GB of RAM so that you can install at least three node rack or three node rack, four node rack and at least you can go for a data guard configuration where you have one primary and two standby databases. So try to go for at least 16 GB RAM. There are a lot of laptops are there where online you can see it's a 8 GB RAM but if you ask to the customer care, let's say HP customer care or Dell or Asus or Acer, they have their own um, email IDs are there which are related to the customer care. You can just drop an email to them and ask for the confirmation whether this RAM can be extended till 16 GB. If you already see the 16 GB RAM, that is more than good. If you don't see, then try to increase that RAM till the 16 GB. It should be supported. All the laptops will not support at 16 GB RAM, but uh, just confirm it before you take any laptop. And another way is go to the Shopee and directly ask them, you can remove this 8 GB RAM and extend it to the 16 GB. You can ask them like that and they will do it. And if it is happening, then not at all there is any issue. Now let's talk about the another important things that you need to check that is called processor. So the processor will be starting from i5. Try to get at least i5 processor. Now if you go to the i7, also we need to think about the budgets. i5 laptops, maybe you can get around 40,000, 40,000 to 45,000. But if you go to the i7 processor, definitely the price will get increased to 70,000 or something like that. More than that, it will go. So if your budget is okay, then if you think that, okay, you can spend around 40, 45,000, go for the i5 processor. And if your budget is a little bit good, then you can go for the i7 processor. But i5 is also um, all right for your Oracle DBA practice. i5 seven generation, 10 generation, you can go for that. Okay, go with the latest uh, processor version. And I mainly prefer for the Intel because I'm much comfortable with this Intel processor. And I don't have much idea about the AMD processor. That is also a next thing. So go for the i5 or if your budget is good, then go for i7. Depend on your budget also, the things are really important. Now let's talk about the hard disk. That is the third important parameter when you are looking for any kind of the laptop. Now hard disk is not something that you really require much for the Oracle DBA practice. If you have 100 GB hard disk, that is also more than enough, but also you need to think about your own perspective related to the personal stuffs. Maybe some people want to see the movies, some personal photos, videos, whatever you want to store there. So you should have good, good hard disk space also. At least go for the 500 GB hard disk, okay? And if you want to extend it to one terabyte, there is an option you can do that later on also. Or when you are purchasing that time itself, you can ask them that I want one terabyte of hard disk at least. So 500 GB of hard disk is really important. There is also another option is there for the hard disk. We call it as a SSD. Nowadays, this SSD, you can consider like a part of your memory itself, a part of your RAM itself, which is really, really faster compared to your hard disk. So nowadays, those laptops which are kind of costly, uh, that laptop where you will get the combination of SSD and hard disk. So if you see the laptop which is behind me, uh, this laptop is kind of really costly, around 1 lakhs. So what I got it with this laptop is 250 GB of SSD and 1 terabyte of hard disk. So that SSD will store your C drive basically which really required a faster performance to boot your OS. And hard disk where you are going to store your all the database files and your personal stuff, you can store it there. So if you get the combination of hard disk and SSD, really, really good. 
try for that if you are not getting then try for the 500 gb ssd or 1 terabyte of hard disk that is also more than enough okay so this is the three parameter that you need to think related to the oracle database training relate to the oracle database practice so this kind of configuration of the laptop you can try for that and you can do any practice related to any other technology as well nowadays i am also doing the practice for our hadoop so that is also happening with this laptop so that's not now if you are asking me can you give me some reference or laptop you can go to my description section of this uh, video there i have shared some of the laptops that you can purchase online or offline it's up to you if you want to purchase online just click on the links and ask for this this laptop i have purchased online only because i got some good uh, discount and if you are getting the same laptop on the same price from the offline store go for it okay go for it that is also right option but think on it before you take the laptop and these parameters you can refer while you are purchasing any laptop because laptop is the one which is costly and since it is a electronics unless and until there is a defect they will not return it okay so i don't want anyone to miss anything so and one more thing guys uh, which i want to add uh, if you don't want graphics card graphics is the one which is mainly useful for the gaming and when you are editing something so my role is like after this recording of the session i want to edit also which need a graphics card so i have purchased uh, i need a laptop which is come up with the graphics card also and when laptop is coming with the graphics it is really costly the processor cost and your graphics card cost is almost same so if you don't want to go with any kind of gaming or any kind of the editing don't purchase the graphics card so go for such kind of laptop also it will be really cheaper compared to the graphics card if you want to go for the graphics card laptop go for gaming laptop like your acer asus which are the good company in gaming and have huge variants are there but again those are costly and those who don't have much budget go with the simple laptop with i5 processor 16 gb ram ram should be 16 gb okay and 500 gb of hard disk or ssd that is more than enough so i will show you some of the reference laptop in the description go for it check it and let me know if you have any kind of the queries please do like subscribe and share this channel i have already started my new oracle dba batch if you are looking for training please contact me thank you bye bye see you again with the next video and happy holi to all of you